Howdy everybody. We are currently in testing phase for this 4020 antenna. Let's go over what we're talking about. So of course we have the uh, coax coming up in here. This is a BNC connector. Um, this is, it looks like a transformer, but it's actually an inductor. This is set for 12, somewhere around 12 to 13 microhenries. And this is a shunt. If I pull the shunt out, uh, the coil becomes active. So let me get that guy out. There. So now when the coil's in play, it's a 40 meter antenna. You put the shunt back in, it essentially negates the coil, and it's back to a 20 meter antenna. And so we have a uh, vertical going up into the tree, about 17 feet. There we go. Now if you can make out the top orange plastic piece, but that's kind of like a carabiner clip up in the tree. Come back down and you'll see that I have about six radials giving me my ground plane and this runs all the way back to my little table here in the garden that's got the G90 on it. So uh, we're currently kind of looking at um, the uh, 20 meter band. I made a few contacts on 20 meter. Uh, but uh, in a second I'm going to switch to uh, the 40 meter band by uh, pulling that uh, shunt. So I'll be right back. Alright, here we are. We're down on uh, 7233.5. So this is with the uh, shunt pulled out, removed, so that engages the coil for 40. Okay, real quickly, we're going to look at um, <clears throat> Nano VNA. Uh, currently, it's configured for the 40 meters, so the shunt is pulled out. Uh, and you can see down here, we got a pretty good VSWR. I don't know if you can see that at all. Oops. So, yeah, we are at 1.25. 1.256. Yeah, 1.256 on the 40 meter band. And that's a pretty good match right there at uh, 7.160. Now I'm going to go put the shunt back in place and uh, we'll take a look at that scan as well. Okay, I added the uh, shunt back in. So we're in uh, 20 meter mode. And we're getting about a 1.365 on 20 meter, somewhere around 14.32, which is fine for me. I mean, it's pretty much wide band. I cover the entire 20 meter band uh, and the G90 radio itself. Um, pretty much takes care of the rest of the tuning. So let's go to the uh, bench and uh, we'll talk about the uh, design. Okay, on the bench we have the uh, board that I was showing you before. Um, so this is the inductor. So it looks like a transformer, but it's just a single coil going all the way around. Um, and I added this blue connector so I can insert coils and remove them uh, when needed. This is what the back side looks like. Just a couple of connections. Uh, ground for the um, uh, round, ground radials, um, and this is the jumper or the shunt. Um, so uh, let's look at a quick diagram here. 
I'll show you what we're uh, talking about. So this is the input from the BNC connector. Um, this is also the, the ground uh, wing nut for connecting the ground radials. You can see the, uh, the shunt or jumper just basically shorts out the coil and becomes a straight line up to the uh, radio or the uh, antenna, which is by default um, set up for 20 meter. Um, so when you open the shunt, or if you t remove the shunt, I should say, uh, this coil comes into play and uh, gives you the correct inductance for making it resonant on uh, the 40 meter band. The uh, Core is a T80-2. Uh, it's about 42 turns um, of 22 gauge Maguire. Um, you're gonna probably need to vary this between 40 and 42, depending on the overall length. Basically, set this first your um, 20 meter operation with the shunt in place. Uh, adjust the length of the wire. Tune tune the uh, antenna for 20 meters and remove the shunt and the coil will come into play and uh, you're going to use the coil to adjust for 40. You don't ever touch the length of the wire now that it's set for 20. Um, take windings or add windings to the coil for the adjustment for 40 um, and uh, that'll get you a dual dual mode uh, antenna. So, I uh, hope you guys liked that. Um, it was kind of fun to build. Um, if you see my previous video, I did a, um, a center loaded uh, 40 meter antenna, uh, which turned out okay, but then it gave me the idea of a uh, dual band uh, 20 and 40 uh, and uh, so uh, that's what we have right now and uh, we're still kind of working out any kinks uh, but for right now I'm making contacts on both 40 and 20 um, I made one uh, on 40 to St. George Utah um, last night and then uh, a couple of Northern California contacts on 40 uh, and then a bunch of poda guys on 20 uh, Colorado uh, Oregon uh, a few other places on 20 so the antenna definitely is uh, functional it's a working antenna um, might need to play around with the uh, number of ground radials currently I have six uh, might try eight uh, but uh, yeah that's pretty much it. So uh, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, and we'll see you next time.